Hello, my name is Diego Lisserazo and this is the second video on this Games with Construct 2 tutorial. In the first one we saw how to create a small sprite in our game, a little bit about the interface and how to add behaviors. In this one we're going to improve on that and uh, try to continue on this quest for a perfect game. If you haven't checked the first video, please look in the links below and uh, check it. Thank you. At this point, we have two elements, a platform and a player. Uh, one of the first things that I'm going to show you how, is how to change a little bit both. So this is a platform that we added and already has a shape. That is the image that we added, but in this case, we can change it without much problem because it's just a black platform the change the size and a little bit of in the shape i can move it here now if i want to copy this one with all the behaviors that we already added the only thing that we need to do is to select it press ctrl and drag it and then we can create all the platforms that we want uh, and you can see that i can move this one too now if I want to make a change for all of them, I can select platform here and do something. For example, let's make it a little smaller. So let's say 100. Just 100. And now you can see that it modified all the platforms that we had. But we can also change one in particular. And we just have to make sure that we're selecting one. And I'm going to make this one a little wider. There you go. Now we can go back here to our run layout and try it. And now we have several platforms that have the solid behavior. That combined with the behavior of the player, the platform here, uh, we can have a small platform. Now, uh, one of the things that we want to do is to make these platforms to move upwards, all of them at the same time. So to do that, we can use another behavior. To do that, we select platform on the right side and go to the properties on the left pane. And we already see here the solid, but this is where the behaviors are. We can add another one. This is our list of behaviors, add new. And I'm going to use this one, bullet. So the name may be a little confusing or misleading, but if you think about the behavior of a bullet, it's just an element that moves in one direction with a certain speed. And that's what we need. So I'm just going to add it and close. Now we're going to test it and see something interesting. And is that all our platforms are moving towards the right and we want them to move upwards. So first thing I'm going to change into point is that here on the left side on the properties we can change the properties of all behaviors depending on the behavior we are going to have more properties or not. You can see it here. So I'm going to change the speed. I think 400 is too much. That's the number of pixels per second. So I'm just going to make it 180 and uh, the next thing that I want to change is the direction. So if you select one of the platforms, you're going to see that it has this little line. That's the orientation, the angle that we can change here. So if I select all of them and give something like 270 degrees, they are going to turn upwards. And if we try it, they are going to move in the direction that we want. But obviously this is not the shape that I want. So I can alter that directly here or I just can double click the platform to open the editor and turn it one direction or the other. So in this case I'm going to turn it right. So that means that there are several ways that you can do this. This way I kind of prefer it, changing the orientation here, is because if we had another element that was not just a simple a simple black block, it would just change the shape and the, the drawing that we have there. So this is a better way. So let's try it. And now 
it moves correctly. But we have a little bit of a problem, and I don't know if you have seen that our little ball here, it kind of goes out in all directions. So I'm going to add another behavior to this one. And I just select it, go to the behaviors list, and I could use two depending on the kind of game that I want. It could be bound to layout or wrap. Bound to layout means that it cannot go out uh, of the layout. But in this particular case, I want wrap better. This is going to be a behavior similar to Pac-Man. And we're going to test it right now. So as you can see, it's going to wrap it not just in the vertical direction, but also horizontal. So depending on the kind of game that we want, this is uh, something that is desired or not. Now, for the next video, I'm going to start creating new platforms and also introducing the events. So please stay tuned and uh, let me know what you think. So we will see each other in the next video, the third one in this series, to check a little bit about the events and how to introduce some game logic in our game. Please leave your comments below and let me know if you're liking this series. Thank you.